Hello YouTube, I'm here from Blue Noodle Studios and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the new features in Safari 6. So if we come into Safari, um, we can see that there's a few big changes. Uh, probably the biggest change is the bar up the top. So you can see that we used to have an address bar here and then a separate search bar here, but now it's been put into the same bar, uh, just like in Google Chrome and some other browsers. So for example, if we want to do a search, we can do a search from here and do a Google search, or you can set it up for, I think, Yahoo and Bing and some other search engines. Or if we want to go to a website, say if I wanted to go to my channel, then I can go to that as well, typing in an address. So it's both for search and addresses. So that's really the biggest new feature. There's a few others that are really good too. You can see that this is automatically here, and if I press plus, it makes another tab which is slightly smaller. So if I wanted to just come to Google, um, then you can see that these two tabs are here, and then it keeps changing the size of the tabs based on um, you know how many tabs you have, rather than it used to be that they would all be the same size and then it would fill up and fill up and then once you got to the end it, they would all start getting smaller but now it's really good they're just optimizing the size of each one and you can also get this button here to see your tabs I, I believe that there's a gesture for it on MacBooks or if you have a magic gesture pad and here you can see the way that we can swipe between our tabs so if we did have um, say I don't know 15 tabs open we could just swipe between all of our tabs which is really handy so those are really the main new features in Safari 6. Uh, one little feature that I picked up that I really like is that you can now na name bookmarks really easily. If you, I want to rename this, all you need to do is click and hold and then it will come into here. And then I'll just press enter because I don't want to rename it. And so that's really handy as well. Now another thing is that there's a new way to add bookmarks. You need to come into share this will load and then you need to press add bookmark so there used to be a button I think around there a plus or you could go into the bookmarks menu you can still do that but here there's also a thing for adding bookmarks and again one of the new features throughout Mountain Lion is sharing so you can email it iMessage and Twitter it and so yeah thanks very much for watching this video I hope that you really enjoyed it uh, please like and subscribe it supports me way more than you could ever imagine and thanks for watching see ya